G'day guys, welcome back. Welcome to Pouring Your Heart Out. Alrighty, yo. Now, a lot of you have been asking me if I could do my cellophane in Druzies. So I thought, yes, let's have a go. So I did these. Hopefully you saw the video where I did these guys. Cellophane. And hopefully you saw the video where I did this gorgeous star. Cellophane. <laughs> I also did these little koi fish with cellophane. And the first thing I did was this octopus, also with cellophane. So, um, I'm really enjoying playing with cellophane. Let me move these out of the way and we'll get started on today's piece. So, the first thing we need, move all these little guys out of the way. First thing we need is our mould. Now this is one, two, three, four by one, two, three, four, five, six. My, my newer mould um, actually has 35 pieces. It's five by seven instead of four by six. So that one is in my store. So you get a, an amazing 35 cavities. This was my first one, my prototype. So I'm just using it for myself. So I've cut out my little <clears throat> cellophanes. I'm using this. This cellophane, I bought it on um, Amazon and it said for, for nails, you know, for, for fingernails. Look at the colour of them, they've got paint under them. So I was really surprised when they arrived, you know, I got that <laughs> instead of this. <laughs> so anyway, I got these. These are what I used on my octopus. I chopped up these little pieces so that's what I've got um, what I did was I've cut these out here how many have I got uh, I'll count them later but anyway what I did I'll show you what I did because I just thought I'll, I'll start it um, I scrunched this up as much as I could probably shouldn't be scrunching this but there's two different colors here I've used all the other one in my octopus this one's sort of a more of a pinky gold one and then this one's got more of um sort of a greenish tone to it so what I did was I scrunched it up scrunched it up a lot and then instead of trying to you know measure what that size is and cut these out actually I wonder if that's a different color again Oh, no, it's the same. Um, what I did was I got a piece that had previously come out of here. See, these ones have got be um, little bales on them, so it's a bit difficult to draw a circle around those. These all came from those, aren't they gorgeous? And I just lined them with silver, little silver pen. So you can do that with them. Um, but, yeah, I'm going to make them iridescent today. So find a piece... That you've already made okay that fitted in there and then instead of I mean you can do it this way you can put that on there draw around it oh there's my pen draw around it and cut it out but if you've got the mold that's got 35 cavities you're gonna be here all day so what I did was I got a little post-it note I put that on there I drew around it I cut it out and there it is all right. Then what I did was I folded that because you don't want to be cutting out 35 of them. I folded that, made sure that it fit, and then I just went like this. <laughs> I cheated. Make sure that you're folding it properly. Um, you know, four or five times. I don't want to make it too thick. And then I just put that on top there like that. And then with my scissors, let my scissors go. And then. I just cut around my circle. Make sure you're holding onto it nice and tight so it doesn't slip. And that way you're cutting out four or five circles at once. You can just throw that out. And keep those. Keep those little pieces, okay? I've got a little bag here that's got all my little pieces in. It's probably easier if I just cut off that tail. 
There we go, moving out of the way. So make sure that you're pushing down really hard so that nothing's going to move. Otherwise it'll slip. And especially when you do this, make sure that you're pushing it down really tight. Okay, so there we go. Doesn't have to, I guess it doesn't have to be an exact perfect little circle, but um, there we go. Look, we've got, um, we've got five circles. So that's how I did that. And um, keep all these little bits. Here's my little bag full of my little leftovers because those are really good for using in other pieces. So don't throw them away. You might have to use some tape <laughs> to pick up the little tiny pieces if they're sitting on silicone because it's hard to pick them up. So anyway, that's um, that's what I did, okay? Um, and I've got, like I said, I've got, um, I'm not sure how many I've got there, but I'll count them out because I thought I was doing 35. <laughs> but then when I came to my old mould, it's only got... Um, uh, six falls, 24. 24 of them. All right, so now what I'm going to do is, now that I've got them, I'm going to make up some resin, just clear resin, and uh, I'll be back for the next step. Go grab yourselves a cuppa while I'm gone. Put the video on pause. Go grab your cu yourself a cuppa and a biscuit. Come back, put your feet up, and enjoy the rest of the video. All right, it's going to be fun. See you soon. Right, I'm back. Did you go get your cuppa? <laughs> I had one just before I started. Cappuccino with raisin toast and honey. That was my breakfast lunch. That's pretty much what I have every day, breakfast lunch, because I don't eat breakfast. I'm too busy. And then I stop at about 10.30 and have breakfast lunch together. Right, resin. <laughs> I probably mixed up way too much, but I figured if there's, if each one takes 10 grams, um, it's 350 grams, which is a lot, but I don't think it's going to take that much. Um, I made up 200 grams. Um, it's platinum 360 plus. Um, I did 150 grams of A and 65 grams of B, but like I said, I think it's going to be way too much. Um, but then that's okay. I'll just, um, I'll pop it into something else and I've got lots of cellophane left over so I can do something else. So I'd rather have a bit much than a, not enough. Now, before we get started, when you're using something like this, the Druzies, um, and then you're pouring resin in, what's going to happen is it's going to, the resin is going to trap air bubbles. So to prevent that, you need to spray each of these with alcohol. I actually um, come across that just, I don't know, it was, it was an accident. I sprayed something else with alcohol um, and then I poured resin on it and, and I, it didn't get any bubbles at all. So I thought, yes, let's try that with Druzy. So I've tried it once before and it worked really well. So we'll try it again. I mean, if you do get a bubble, you're not even going to notice it really on something like this. I mean, there's probably bubbles in there, but you can't really notice them. Right. Um, now, to pour into these, I'm going to, I can see some bubbles on the top there. Um, I'm just going to pour into my little paper cup so that I can pinch it and make a spout because trying to pour into these is going to be too difficult. So I'm using the 100% isopropyl alcohol. I get this at Bunnings, which is our big hardware store in Australia. I think anything over 97 would be good. If you can get 100, that's better because I don't know what the other 3% is, but if it's water, you don't really want water in with your resin. So try and get 100%. It's got a just one of the normal spray thingies there. So I put it into this cosmetic bottle. It gives a really fine mist. Okay, so let's start. I'm just going to go squirt, 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 squirt. And... Before it all evaporates, let's just pour some in. Probably going to go, I just want all the little druzies to be covered. So it's a bit hard to see exactly how much, but maybe halfway. Just until all of them are, all the little bits that are poking out are covered. All right, we don't want to fill it in all the way because I still need to put a top coat on. All right, so that's that done. One, two, three, four, five. Give it a squirt. Don't do all of them, 
because then by the time you've come back around um, all the alcohol probably will have evaporated <laughs> so oh and look I went and got my 35 cavity you probably noticed I forgot to say that before when I put you on pause I thought I'm gonna go and get my other one so I went and grabbed it just as well I had one sitting there waiting to be sold if you do see a bubble just just pop it now you're probably still going to get the occasional bubble but I don't think it's going to be nearly as bad um, as if you didn't use the alcohol and you can just pop them when they come up to the surface you can give them another spray of, of alcohol so I'll do them all and then I'll give them a little spray of alcohol let me get a bit closer actually <laughs> all right try not to pour from too far up high because again more air bubbles try and get in nice and close like so I think I'm definitely going to have to use that resin for something else. Oh, I've probably gone about, that's a um, 120 gram cup, so four ounces. And I've only used half of it. Uh, 420? Yeah, 120. Yeah, it's four ounces. So definitely. Oh, did I spray you already? No. I'm just kind of running across from doesn't matter if I make a bit of a mess any dried resin that's between them you can just peel it off later not a problem so I am doing these as little giveaways little just to say thank you you know when you buy my molds um, it's not going to be on all of the sales I mean if you if you sort of not that I'm trying to encourage you to spend more <laughs> be nice if you did but um i'll be popping them in orders that are sort of around a hundred dollars and over okay i'm not going to just because I, I haven't got you know i've only got 35 of them so unfortunately i'd love to give one to everybody but i'm just going to pop them in with the orders that are uh, you know about a hundred dollars or over um i've got molds that are 99 dollars, so if you buy one of those woohoo you'll get one and if i run out um, I'll have to make more so you know it's only going to be the first 35 orders I'm sorry I, I haven't got enough but look if they work out really well I might do some more as giveaways okay. so that's the plan for these little guys okay look at that I've still got half a cup left uh, what can I do with it I'm just going to put some in here actually just so that it it's not going to flash cure because this resin cures up really fast um, especially if it's deep in a deep cup which that is I'm just going to spray some alcohol on my baby wipe I'm just going to be really quick here and just clean up my mess I don't like mess just real quick clean it up go that way go that way <laughs> I know you said I said you could do it later, but I'd rather just do it now and then it's done. All right, let's have a look at those. Now I'm going to give them another little spray just to pop any bubbles. Obviously, you don't want to be torching because um, the little druzy silicone areas there are very close to the surface. Now I'm just popping a little bit in. Some of the others if if it looks as if I can still see some of the little silicone druzy bits poking through just a few more drops oops you need a bit more some of them you won't be able to cover totally because some of the little druzy bits are sort of on the side so you're not going to be able to cover all every little tiny piece of silicone because you know being handmade they are all a bit different 
some have got more little sort of druzies on the sides and some are more on the bottom and just trying to cover them all so I'm not going to wait until these are half cured I'm just going to go ahead and put my little circles on these now and then I'll have to go and find something else that I can use this other resin on right now I'm going to take my gloves off because I can't pick these up oh maybe I can let's try I'll try I'll try one I'll try one I'm gonna get my little silicone a little silicone brush thingy it's not really a brush because it hasn't got hairs but now I don't know I don't know they look different each side I don't know which sides which I'll probably put put both on all right here we go I'll put that in actually I'm going to take these off I might actually I'll use tweezers that way I'm not um getting my uh, hard to get the gloves off isn't it when you need to right I'm going to use I'm going to use my tweezers I think ouch I just stood on something that hurt ouch 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 what was that <laughs> all right so I'm just going to go and put these in pick them up layer them in I'll come back and push them down a bit later actually um Try and get it on top. It's going to sit each one on top. So I've got the two different types of silicone colours. Um, yeah, I don't know. They they're just different. See that that one's got a little bit of that druzy up a bit higher. I'm just going to pop them all in for now, and then I'll come back and just sort of push them down doesn't matter if you've made one a little bit bigger you know with your little circle because we're just going to poke it in anyway so if it goes up the sides a little bit it's not going to matter so don't be too precious about it don't stress out too much about whether your circle's the right size it will be fine I've got more of this one because I think I used this darker one I used it a bit more in in my little octopus that I made So I haven't got as much of this one left. I've also ordered some holographic vinyl. So that's going to be coming soon and I'm going to be using it as well. Just wipe my tweezers. Make sure I take all the resin off it. I'm not going to be too long. It's not worth me stopping the video, you know, pausing it and then doing some more and then coming back. I'll just, I'll just do it. You guys can fast forward if you don't want to watch me doing this. I won't mind. So these ones are thinner, these little cellophanes. This one here is a bit thicker. Makes more of a crunchy sound. So I'm trying to use up all of these ones because I haven't got as much of these. I think that's pretty much all of them gone. Now I'll just use up these ones. If you don't want to cut circles, just use some. Um, you can just use normal sort of cellophane pieces, you know, like, um, what's it called, crushed ice, cellophane pieces. Look at that, I've got some more left. Three little guys left. Alrighty. So that's it there. Now I'm just going to take my little silicone brush thing. Just kind of try and lay it flat if I can. Somewhere where it's got the little, 
put oh, you probably can't see there's a little piece of silicone on the side there so it's not can't really poke it down might actually have to trim that little piece of of um, cellophane I should start here and come up shouldn't I that way I know they're all being done you're done and it doesn't matter if um, Oh, you're not poking down very well at all. doesn't matter if they go under the resin a little bit. I'm just sort of pushing them so that it sits on the top, but maybe a little bit will go under in a couple of spots. I'm not fussed about that. just want to get them down. These ones are pretty much down already. I think you need a tiny bit more resin under you. Whoa, not that much. Oh my gosh, a whole heap went in. Now I've got to try and get it out. Oh no, it'll be all right. Look at that, it's all right. Actually, maybe that's what I'll do with these other ones that have got um, the silicone little druzies poking up a little bit higher, because some of them poke up a bit higher than the others. Maybe I can put a little bit more silicone in, and uh, not silicone, resin in them. Okay, that's it. Um, that's, I'll find something else to put this in. Hang on one sec. Oh, I'm just going to move you over a bit. Like so. I oh, probably don't need to go that much. <laughs> You're not getting seasick, are you? <laughs> Moving you around. Um, let's see if I can put a mould here. Hopefully I can just move that over just a touch. Right, um, I've got one of these. I thought I'd try and use up some of that resin real quick before it sets hard on me. I've actually got a couple of those. Give it a real quick little clean I wasn't expecting to do this but now I'm not going to obviously I'm not going to go and cut out a whole heap of hearts I've got this shaved ice I think I said crushed ice before shaved ice it's some um, same thing but in little pieces um, and then this one as well from Lorez I think it's the same I'm not sure if it's the same this one looks more blue and this one looks more pink so um gloves all right let me get some more gloves on and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to, instead of cutting out hearts real quick, because I won't have time to do that because my resin will set up, I'm just going to sprinkle some of that, those little iridescent cellophanes over the top. So filling it up, not all the way. Remember, we need to leave some room. I'm going to put black on. I'll leave some room for the black. You don't fill up your cup too much when you're doing this because if you fill it up too much all the resin just kind of runs down the side so pop some in and let it spread and then you can decide whether or not you need any more so we'll get a different look obviously from these look I've got another one <laughs> gonna move these out of the way before I ruin them Give those a quick little clean make sure there's no dust and fluff and stuff in them and I don't want to use up most of this so not wasted at all yay oops there's a hair there's a hair got him you need a bit more my resin's feeling a bit warm now. Okay, look at this last bit. Woohoo! Mm. 
You still with me? Yeah. I thought you'd all gone to get your coffee and your biscuit. You didn't come back. Now, oh, I didn't spray these. Oh, well, doesn't matter. Hopefully the bubbles will still disperse, even though my resin's kind of thickening. Now, I'm just going to do this just to get the resin into the little points there. Sometimes it doesn't want to go into the little points. All right, so that's it. Look, I haven't got much left at all. So that's good. Yay. I'm just going to clean up my little stick real quick. Make a bit of room, clean up my mess. I can't work in a messy area. I just can't do it. Do anybody need a little bit more? I think you do. I just want to finish off this. See if anybody needs a tiny little bit more. Before I throw my cup out. Just leave enough room for you know a little bit of black or whatever color you're wanting to do on the background okay that's done right now i can take my gloves off again as soon as i wipe up that bit of resin i'll keep these gloves if i take them off this way i can use them again tomorrow what can I do tomorrow? Any ideas of what I can do tomorrow? I've got a few days off work, so I want to do lots of things. Maybe I can try the holographic vinyl. Um, actually, I'm just going to go and get my other cellophane pieces. Because I've got these as well. I, I showed you these in another video, also from Lorez different colors so maybe I can use some of those all right I'll do some of those um, I've got a big container of this one I'm just going to use fingers I'm just going to sprinkle it on there like this so it's basically mirror mirroring what we've got here but I'm just sort of sprinkling them over so this, this whole mould can have this because I've got a lot of this one. I'm just going to put a little bit on now and then I'll come back and just fill in any gaps. I mean, you could do it with a teaspoon, but I think it's easier just sort of, you know, doing this with your fingers and just allowing a little bit out at a time. That way you can aim where you want to put it. You don't need to poke it in. It'll kind of settle a little bit. If it doesn't, that's okay. We're just going to cover it with the black anyway. So just a light covering. Might come back and do some more of that one. Now we've got three rows here and we've got three colours. So each row can have a different colour, hey? Just to see what the difference is. Why not? See, this one looks as if it's got a little bit more blue in it. It's a very big piece. I don't want to use that one. Okay, here we go. With this and the last one I'm guessing that these blues will just stay looking blue won't they with the black background or do you think they'll change I've spilt into this one I have to get that out <laughs> get out go over there Oh. Come out. I'm making a mess. I'm trying to hurry. When you try to hurry, things don't necessarily work, do they? When you're hurrying. All right, so that's that one. And then we'll do this one. It's called Aqua Ice. I really like this color. I can see the aqua and some purple in it. I mean, if you wanted to. You know, you could just mix all your colours together. Yeah, maybe I should do that one day and mix them. And see what happens. I get a really pretty effect by mixing different colours together. Hey. Okay. 
Okay, just want to make sure that the surface is kind of covered. We're not going to get every tiny little section, I don't think. We're probably going to be able to see a little bit of resin through. Whereas with these ones here, you, you're not going to. You just have to keep poking those down. So I'll probably go ahead and put a little bit more of these on. This one seems to be sort of chunkier, bigger pieces. I'm very excited to see what these are going to look like. Kind of glad I had that extra resin left over now. So now I've made some extra little pieces for you guys. All right. Now I am just going to go ahead and just add a little bit more so that we're not having too much sort of negative space poking through and then we'll be done and I will give them a little bit of a, a poke down because I don't want you know loose cellophane sitting on top because then when I come back and put my black on um, it's not going to just be nice and smooth, so I will kind of just press it down a little bit. Right, so that's those done. Let's do them that way. And now this one, the shaved ice again. This one's really fine actually in comparison. It feels much finer and kind of more slippery. So we'll see what we get. We're just going to get beautiful colours out of all of them, no doubt. Okay, I think that's it. If I've missed any bits, then so be it. Hopefully, I, hopefully I've covered everything. All right, now what am I going to push them down with? Is the question. Um, what am I going to push them down with? Um, 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 um. With my little cellophane, uh, my little silicone, not cellophane, I've got cellophane on the brain. Um, I don't know that that's going to work. It's some of them are sticking to the stick. <laughs> That's all right. I'll just keep pressing. There's only so many that can stick to the the top and then the rest of them will just sort of get pushed down a little bit. I just don't want too many of them to be, you know, loose on top when I pour the black on. Um, because then they'll just rise to the surface and then we'll have little bits of cellophane poking through the the black background which we probably will get anyway. I'll have to go around and clean all these bits of cellophane off the sides actually um, so that we're not getting those sticking in to the black background. Now just wipe that off. Seems to be working okay, you guys. Pushing it down. I mean, I'm sure you guys would take your time more than I am. I'm kind of hurrying a bit because I know you're all watching. I'm loving this colour. I'm loving this aqua colour. Give it a wipe. Go in there, there's a gap there. Go into the gap. So they've already started to sink actually, they're kind of tacky. So there we go. Woohoo! Oh, that was hard work, you guys. You're making me work hard for my video today. 
all right let's just have a little close-up look at these guys oh look at that see where well, you were up there you couldn't really see very much but look at that oh my gosh all right let's look this way and then look this way <gasps> look at that gives you a little hint about what they're going to look like hey wow now what about these what are these doing let's go around this way oh look at the difference Woohoo! this is gonna be fun all right i have to jump in the shower and go and take my orders up to the post office and get them shipped off and then um in a few hours i'll be able to come and do the background so yay see you guys soon hey guys i'm back i was sitting there stirring resin and um it started thundering this big storm just hit so hopefully you can hear me over the rain i'll have to shout <laughs> i love storms dogs don't love it that much but i do now i've just added some black to my clear that's it there Lorez. midnight black so i did a scoop of that now i've made up a hundred grams just over a hundred grams 75 of A and 32 of B. Same resin, the 360 plus, the platinum. Oh, that's better. I don't have to shout now. <laughs> Go away, storm. Oh, there it comes again. <laughs> We've had lightning and thunder. It's, it's mid afternoon. It's only three o'clock. So it's been a few hours. I've been out. The resin's pretty set. Um, what I did was I got. some masking tape and I just went like this to pick up all the um, sort of stray pieces because I don't want them getting stuck like I don't want them going into the side of my my little mold so I got most of them off there's a few pieces there that don't want to come off like see these bits here that are stuck on the side they'll get stuck into my black so I just got to be careful. So the best way is just getting some tape and that'll clean up your edges like so. Alrighty. Get my glove back on. All these little tips and tricks, hey? <clears throat> now, hopefully 100 grams of resin will be enough. So <clears throat> again, I'm going to put it into my little cup so that I can easily I'm just going to grab a piece of paper towel just in case it drips down the side all right here we go I'm going to put a little bit in and it can go off to the sides I won't overfill them I'm just put a little bit in and let it self level and then if I need to come back and do a bit more, then I will. And if I haven't made up enough, then I'll have to mix up a bit more. Because I made up way too much for the first layer. You know, I got all that done as well. So there's not that much to do. I don't, I don't, I think they're probably, well, see, it's hard to know, like, whether it's halfway or not, because they're domed, so, the top is wider. Oh, there's thunder. Can you hear that? Thunder rolling. Spring storm. You get that up in the tropics, don't you? And then as soon as it comes, it's gone. It moves off. Go and bug someone else for a while. Okay, so fast forward if you don't want to watch this, but I'm just showing you what I'm doing. 
and then I'll just come back and see that bit sticking up a little bit I'll just poke him back in again whoops a bit full actually these are taking more than I thought they're probably it's probably more than half because the top the open area is wider than the bottom area isn't it oh I don't know <laughs> I hope I got enough It'll be just like me not having enough after I made up too much for my first lot. Let's just put a little bit more into that one where that's poking through. I'll come back and do those little bits that are poking through. I guess the hearts will take quite a lot, hey, because they're quite wide at the top. They're, they're domed, so they're much wider at the top than they are at the bottom. All right, that's those done. And I'm not going to have enough. I'm going to have to make up some more. Probably another 50 grams, I guess. I was contemplating do, doing 100 of A and 43 of B. That would have been enough. But I thought, ah, oh, I don't need that much. All right, let's... Pour some over these. I guess these are going to take more than what I anticipated. I'll just use off, use up this just to fill in these little areas here where the cellophane is poking its little nose out. Where else? Where else? Where else? Here. I'm squeezing it. <laughs> That's not going to help. Uh. Alright, so that's um, pretty much all I can do. up a little bit more. I can't believe I missed that. All right, mix up a little bit more. Another 50 grams should do. Righto, got some more resin. Still thundering. It's dribbling a little bit onto a few of these that aren't quite up to the top yet. I'd like them to kind of dome a bit, that way we don't get that sharp lip. Because if you want to stick one of those um, bales on the back, like one of those, it's nice to have, you know, a nice flat area that you don't have to worry about a lip or having to sand it so I'll fill them up I'll probably um, paint a couple with gold or silver depending on what they look like just on the edges like I did with those other ones and see what they look like I think that would look pretty as well wouldn't it so just topping these up Use my baby wipe to clean up my mess. All right, let's pour some more in here and keep going with the hearts. Hey, this is, still need a little bit more in some of those. Go away, thunder! I'm trying to talk. Hopefully, you guys can hear me over the thunder and the rain. Lightning bolts are going off everywhere. bit more. I don't like to overfill them. My little pouring cup that is. Hopefully I've got enough to go around. I only need to do three more. Oh, 
that was more lightning. That means there's more thunder coming, doesn't it? We need to count to see how far away it is. Oh, it's just a rumble in the distance now. You probably didn't even hear that. It's moving away. The thunder is anyway. It's just a rumble in the distance. <laughs> it's still rumbling. Alright, that's that. Let me just spread these out with my stick. Make sure that we're covered. Yep, you're done. You're going to make sure that your table's nice and level when you're doing this sort of thing. Oops, more lightning. You probably don't need a blow by blow, blow of my storm, do you? I'll shut up. <laughs> That's right, I'll keep going. Just went and grabbed a little toothpick. It's a couple of pieces that are just flying away that obviously weren't stuck down. Let's pick them out. Not too many. It's not too bad, hey? Now I'll just use my toothpick just to push that resin in. Move a little bit there. It's poking up. Get down. A little bit of cellophane poking up. Oh gee, I hope these work out pretty. Hope so. I think I'm done. Let me just check each one. Oops, I'm not done. Because you can look at them all and go, yeah, I think they're done, but until you actually go to each one and check it. Make sure that they're all good. There's a bubble. That's just a bit of um, silicon, like druzy, poking through there. Now, I just want to pop a little bit more on a couple of these. And then, I am done skis. It is time for a coffee. Cappuccino. Oh, Izzy, go down to the rain, baby. I've got a dog there crying at the window, looking at me. She doesn't like storms. My little Izzy Pops. I'll come and get you in a minute, baby. Mummy's busy. <laughs> Does anyone else talk to their kid, their kids, <laughs> their dogs like their kids? Or is it just me, crazy, mad dog woman? All right, I think... These are all doming now. Look at that. That was a good, wasn't it? Made up just the amount, just the right amount, second time around anyway. Alrighty. Now, I'm going to give them a quick little squirt with some alcohol. Not that it matters if there's bubbles on the back because, you know, no one's going to see them. Um, let's clean off my stick. And um, a quick little torch, not torch, alcohol spray, like we did to begin with. And because it's the back, I don't mind, you know, if, if it shows little droplet marks. Let's see if I can push that down a bit. All right, so that's it, you guys. Um, yeah, that was fun. <laughs> It ended up being much more hard work than I was expecting, having to do those two as well. So anyway, um, I probably won't demold them tonight. I'll leave it till the morning. And, oh, gee, I'm, I really, really hope they work. Wish me luck. See you soon. Good morning, good morning. I oh, know, well, it's morning for me. It's only been a few seconds for you. Right. 
It's unmolding time. Let's do these ones first. Uh, now, oh, which order did I put them in? I think these were the ones with the, um, oh, what was it called now? Shaved ice, shaved ice. So let's get one out. And I guess they'll all be the same. So there's a little bit of overflow from the, the cellophane, which is why I wanted to sort of clean the, you know, the edges before I poured. But that's okay. You can just snip them off. There's not much there. All right. Shall we have a look? Probably know what to expect from these. Oh, oh my goodness. Wow. Wow. That's really pretty. Who wants one? You can put a little bale on it, hang it on your neck, put a hole in it, make it a keychain. Oh, you could stick two together, couldn't you? Let's look at the blue. What about if you stuck two together? I might make myself a keychain. Now, I can't remember which is which. If this one's the same as that, then we'll know that these are all the shaved eyes. Yep, it is. Is it? Yes. I reckon stick them back to back like that with some strong glue. Make yourself a keychain. How cool would that be? All right, let's just get them all out real quick. I'm really happy with these ones. And look, I know you can see the cellophane, but you know, that's the whole, it was made with cellophane, but it's that changing color that I was after and it really stands out on against that black background doesn't it got my hands in the way try and do it one-handed all right there we go so those are those guys really happy with those now let's swap these over so I'm not stretching in front of the, the screen when I look down at them they look that color and then when you look across they're blue Alrighty, so these were the ones, the um, Lorez ones, the three different colours. Let's get one out, have a little look. Ooh, ooh, that's got gold in it and pink in it. That's got lots of colours in it, hasn't it? Picking up all kinds of colours. This one, you know, is just, which is really pretty, but it's just... Um, Green and blue, really. And then this one. Gosh, myriad of colours. All right, so that would have been all of those rows there, I guess. Or did I do it this way? Must have done it that way. <laughs> this one. All right, let's have a look. Gee, it was a whole um, 12 hours ago. You'd think I could remember, hey? Ouch. Now this one, this one's more like this one. Very similar, those two. This one's a little bit more pale in, in the green. All right, so that one, that one, and then this top one must be a different one again. I was thinking I was doing it that way, but I think I did it that way, didn't I? All right, here we go. That one's got a lot more blue in it. A little bit of pink. Very nice. Well, so far this one's the most colourful. It's got lots of colours in it. This one's mainly green and then this one is mainly blue. I'll have to look back on the video and see which one was which. I know that was the aqua one because it was in the middle. Was that the blue? Must have been. All right, let's get these out real quick and then we'll move on to the Druzies, which I'm most excited to see. Hopefully they'll be pretty as well. I'm really happy with all these gorgeous hearts. Look at them. So pretty. All right, let me just move these out of the way. One sec. Righto, are we ready? Let's start down here. Now these... Oh, they're all going to be different, aren't they? Well, not all of them, because I sort of went like that <laughs> with the different two, two different colors. We've got two different cellophanes we used. Do you remember? 
It's hard for me to remember what happened yesterday. Oh, there's a hole. Never mind. Oh, wow. Look at that. I guess the cellophane's come in a little bit from the edge because you could, or maybe it's sunk a bit because you can see a little bit more of the black. That's really pretty. And that one doesn't look as if it's cellophane pieces like like this one. You can definitely see cellophane pieces in it. This one, you can't see them because it was just, you know, a little, a little ring of cellophane. I'll just put them here. <clears throat> have to get on with this pretty quickly. Oh, that's a different colour one. Oh, look at that one. So this one is, must have been the, um, the window film because the window film one throws more orange. You can see the crystal look on top. So yeah, the window film one throws more orange. And then the other one, through more blue. So pretty. What do you think, you guys? Do you like them? See, this one you could... Oh! <laughs> just drop it on the floor. <laughs> this one you could edge with gold, which I think would look really pretty. Pick up the gold in there. And if you wanted to, you could edge this one with silver. It just, you know, hides the black there. Anyway, let's get all of them out real quick. Bear with me. And then I'll paint one of the sides. Whoops, let go. Let go, thank you. I'll paint one of the sides in um, in gold. So they come out really easily. Oops, turn it around so I'm not having my arms in front of you too much. So which ones do you prefer? Let me know in the um, in the comments down below. Do you prefer these ones with the oops now it doesn't know what to focus on. That was the window film. That was the wrapping paper. Or maybe you prefer one of these hearts. They're all really pretty. Oh, I'm going to have lots of giveaways. Yay! <laughs> lots of giveaways. I like doing giveaways. Nearly there. You get these last few out. That's it. We're done. Gorgeous mold. I'll have to just pick off all these little bits of resin. It's always good to clean your your mold before you put it away that way you've got a nice clean mold to start with again the next day it's nothing worse than getting all excited and getting things ready and then you have to go oh i have to clean my mold all righty so there they are oh this one's got a lot of black around it this must have been one where the um the cellophane's kind of gone up the side a bit i don't mind that though i think it adds to the the beauty of them. All right, let me grab my gold pen. And as per usual, it's the Deco Color Premium. All right. I don't know if there's any sanding to do. I should probably, oops, I should probably cut that off first. I'm feeling too impatient, aren't I? I need to prep little Critical scissors or nail scissors are really good. Focus. You just need to trim off any little areas. Okay. 
How's that? Uh, yep. If there's any big little, big little, <laughs> this is just overflow because this was the top. If there's any areas that need trimming, you can just trim them real quick. And then just grab yourself a nail file, an emery board, and just give it a quick little sand. So we're going to paint the sides anyway, but just feel with your thumb. If there's any sharp bits, just sand them real quick. The sanding does sort of change the colour. It'll make it sort of white like that because you've sanded the resin. But because we're going to paint it, it doesn't matter. Just check that they're all nice and smooth, which it is. It didn't take long, did it? Nope. All right, here we go. Oh, no, it doesn't know what to focus on. All right. Let me put down a little piece of paper towel and hopefully it will focus on this then. It's a bit dark in here, isn't it? Well, it's early morning. It's 6.30 a.m. I was so keen to come and do this. All right, here we go. Hopefully you've got enough light to see. So I'm just painting the side, and if there's a piece of crystal, so to speak, that goes up the side, I just paint that as well, like that. Kind of looks like a bit of a crown, doesn't it? So whatever's on the side... It's going to get painted gold. I just think that looks, it adds to the um, the beauty of it all. If you want to add a little bit more you can and I also like to go just over the top of that resin on the side there as well. So I might come back to that. You know how you do the, the, when you're doing coasters, you do the, the side and then you come along and you do the top edge, the top rim. And I do that as well. Just so when you're looking down on it, you can see the gold as well along the top, if that makes sense. There's a little hair on that one. I haven't even had my morning coffee yet. I was too excited to come out and unmold. And go around the top. It's up to you how much you want to, you know, paint gold. I wouldn't do too much. Just the edges I like to do. And like I said, that top little rim there, so that when you're looking down on it, oh, look at that! When you're looking down on it, you can see gold all the way around. Oh. So now I'm just going to have a little look. I might put a little bit more gold across the top. So you look down from the top and then just decide, yeah, I just want to put a little bit more gold just to make that gold really stand out. That one's got enough. Just check all the way around. It just does not do it justice, this camera, from what I'm seeing to what you're seeing. It's just so, so beautiful. And this bit here just needs a little bit more gold. So when I send them in the in the post, in the mail, obviously I'm not going to be sanding and painting gold. I'll leave that to you guys to do. Look at that. Does that not look a million dollars? That is just amazing now where's my little stick on bale things um here i've got silver ones and gold ones obviously it's gold with the gold silver with the silver oh you can't see how that's sparkling in the sun oh that is just amazing so you just get one of these. I just get them from eBay. That's it there. It sits like that. 
Oops, <laughs> little little tiny things. Oops, I'm now be careful because it's wet. So all you do is put a little bit of glue on there and then pop it underneath. And uh, it's done. It'll be like that. The other thing is when, because, um, I don't know if you can see, but see that the back there is not totally flat with that. So you have to sort of hang this over the edge of your table. So if it was like, let me just bring this down. Oops. You'd have to put it like that on the edge and then just hang that over the, t over the little bench or whatever you're using because it's not flat. Should I go and get some glue? I use this one, Yoohoo All Purpose Adhesive. I find it works really well. Whoops, <laughs> I've got to watch where I'm putting glue. Now, I just put some on there, spread it out. Make sure you don't put too much on though. I might have to actually take a little bit off. It'll ooze, like if you put too much on, it'll ooze out. Now, which way shall we go? And decide which is the top and which is the bottom. I think like that. And it just sticks like that. I'm going to have to just hold it there now for a minute. That's what the back looks like. You try not to get any gold paint on the back, but it, look, it doesn't matter if you do. It's only the back. You can just wipe it off with a little bit of um, alcohol, just holding it in place. not know that I could turn my flash on when I was videoing. Look at that! Turn the flash on. Off. On. <laughs> oh, you learn something every day. So anyway, there's a little bit better colour for you. Just popped my ring light on and my little flash on for the, the camera. I'll take it outside and do a little video of it. I am going to go and paint one of the other ones in silver <laughs> but I want to go and have my coffee first that's it there love it what do you think hopefully you enjoyed that video and um, I will see you real soon for the next video let me know if there's anything else you want me to do with cellophane And if you want one of these Druzy molds with the 35 uh, cavities, they are in my eBay store. Link is in the description. So I'm going to paint one of these ones with silver. See how that goes. But I do prefer this one. I must say, I have to prefer this one. Mm. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. I'm off to have a coffee. Love you all. Take care. Bye for now. Love it.